guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carrie and this is Booked for Romance. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. I am so excited about today, guys. We are starting a new segment. Um, I did one last month and I'm putting out one this month. I am reviewing one book at a time and I am loving this and how I could actually talk about the book and get into depth and not feel like I'm really rushing into this spoilery free review. And yeah, this is how this layout pretty much works if you are new to the channel. Um, I will discuss what the book is about. I will give my rating. I will check to see if it's close to the Goodreads review rating. And then I will talk about if I would recommend this to you guys or if it's worth checking out and what I liked and what things I wanted to see more from the book. So let's get into it. The book we are discussing today, the reason why I'm on my channel, it is A Court This Cruel and Lovely by Stacia Stark. And I'm really excited to talk about this one. I mean, this was an end of the year read and I just felt compelled to come on here and talk about it with you guys. Okay, so let's get into the premise really fast before we get, dive really into like what I think about the book. Um, we have our girl Preska and she is grown up in a world where first born you have magic. And the gods end up, as babies, take that magic away and on your 21st birthday end up giving the magic back. Their theory is, is the gods need to protect you from malicious fae. So they end up taking the magic to help defend them against these fae. Well, unfortunately for, for Preska, she still has her magic. Um, they, it was supposed to be stripped from her as a baby and it never fully was. So she ends up going to this courtyard situation where they end up like assessing each person at 25 to see when they start bestowing them their magic back. And something happens to where they discover Preska still has her magic. Well, unfortunately for Preska, she has to be on the run. Like she realizes that she is going to die. So she ends up having to be on the run. She ends up running into our mercenary and our mercenary first sees her and is like, I'm sorry, I cannot deal with you right now and leaves her on the side of the road. Well, needless to say, our mercenary and our heroine meet up again and realize they need each other to get from point A to point B. That is all I'm going to tell you guys. And it is been a ride. Let me begin by saying I really did enjoy this book. It ends up being for me a 4.5 stars. It really was interesting and fascinating how her magic is very original. Like I've only seen it a handful of times and I haven't seen it like this to where it's, I don't want to go too much into her magic because the fun part about this book is discovering what her magic is. And I feel like the world itself is very interesting too. The reason why this got a 4.5 stars, it it's a beginning of a series. So you could tell that there is kind of a little bit of a lulls and a little bit of dips in here and there, but you can tell it does pick up as you go, especially once it gets established to that 50% mark, then it takes off. So, I mean, for me, it did have a few lulls in here, which I was just like, but that's okay. Because as soon as you get, I mean, honestly, once you get into book two, it just, blows up it just blows up you guys so i mean the i like the premise of um the book itself the world sounds really really interesting you get more of everything in book two um this series is really great because it builds off of itself which i really appreciate um you have your broody hero which everybody loves a good broody hero let's just start that right there I also want to mention that the villain in this was very good and there's a lot of court intrigue like you don't really know 
who is going to be bad and who's going to be good. And it's a lot of misdirection and mislead. And you're not really sure who is what. And it's, it's very interesting which way she's going to take this. Because the way she wrote some of these characters and the side characters are very intriguing. So it's definitely one that earned its 4.5 stars, even with some of the lulls it had in it. But this is just for book one, because book two sure as heck got five stars. Now, let's see on Goodreads if my 4.5 stars ends up, like, is comparable to what Goodreads had in store for it. Okay, so it looks like on Goodreads it ended up getting a 4.21 stars, which I think is kind of similar to my 4.5. It's fine. Like, I'm okay with that. That sounds pretty decent um, to that. I kind of wanted to look and see what other people have been saying about it. So one of the things I wanted to mention, though, is the romance and hanging in there with that. Because um, in this book, uh, the romance, there's a reason why the romance is written the way it is. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Because at first you don't understand and you're like, oh, I'm, you know, but then it all becomes self-explanatory as it goes. So there is that. Um, would I recommend this to a friend? Anything that is a four stars and above is an automatic recommendation from me. That's easy peasy lemon squeezy. Um, but hopefully more people start like picking this one up. It definitely is worth the read. It was really, really good. And book two was even better. Um, I hope you liked the short, sweet, easy review. And until next time, till the next book I run across that I want to talk about, we'll talk soon. Bye y'all.